years of the year. State has won the toss, elected to receive. Green has us underway. Short kick. Fair catch is called for and is made at the 23. We'll see him at free safety tonight, number 13. Shovel pass. Davis breaks it across the 35 for the first down to the 35 and a half yard line. It is Shade who takes his feet out from under him. Hayes who checks in at tight end. 6'6", 330 pounds. Sophomore from New Orleans. They reverse. A counter on the option hit and caught at the line of scrimmage. John Copeland. It's almost a battle as to who we call first, Curry or Copeland up front. There's Palmer on the very first play. They get him the football. Has five, has 10, has 15, and breaks it all the way out to the 50-yard line. And it was Prince Windley. Against the defense. First down. Short drop. Pick out pass. He's caught for the first down, and it's Curtis Brown. And it's third down battle. Shovel pass to Lassick. He's got a lot of running room. At the 15, at the 10, 5, touchdown, Bama. Counter with the action, Kenny Roberts. Good heavens, no place to go. Lemansky Hall. Lemansky Hall, by the way, you talk about speed. He's a converted strong safety. Now playing in linebacker. Shovel pass. Hit, knocked down, and this is going to be a loss of five more yards by Mississippi State as Davis is hit by Copeland and then a host of his friends, and it's going to be third and extremely long. Wants to throw, and now Hudson running for his life. Throws it, it is intercepted by Teague. And he will be tackled inside the 25-yard line. Watson Brown will settle him down. It's still early in this ballgame. And they catch a break. Offsides on defense, a football team. So, because of the rush last time, Jordan just—it it was all he could do to get it away. But he did kick it to Palmer. Let's see if this time, if he gets time, if he will kick to him. Right? They have blocked it on the ground and touchdown Alabama. And Tony Langham. Turns it up, has five, and then is going to be picked up and driven to the turf at the 40-yard line. George Teague makes the defensive stop, and let's go to Tim Brando. Arizona gets knocked off today after their big upset win. Big opening in the middle for Davis. Will take it across midfield and is down in Alabama territory for the first time tonight. He has to play well. Again breaking the tackle, but this time, number two, it is Prince. William Prince carrying the football down inside the 35 to the 33. Wishbone set for Mississippi State. And he goes straight ahead with Michael Davis. Play action, not going anywhere. Lemansky Hall on the blitz. Also, you could see 55 Antonio London as the two outside backers came up. Chris Gardner to attempt the field goal. This will be an attempt of 42 yards. Tony Lake. And he is no good. Off to the right. On third down. Short drop, pass over the middle, is complete for the first down, and it's Prince Wembley. Little play action. Throws it complete to Lashik. He will cut it back into the middle, and all of that, and I think they picked up the first down. He's not going to make you forget Namath and a couple of other good ones they've had down there, Staber, but, but he just gets it done. This is Anderson, who's coming to the ball game at tailback. He will have five, and now ten yards in the play. He will step out at the first down marker. Palmer on the reverse. Going to be hemmed in, and will fight his way back to the line of scrimmage again. It's Mark Woodard. Trying to pick on him, and it didn't work again. This will be a 42-yard attempt.
distance, and he's good. Short drop this time. The ball is tipped at the line of scrimmage and still is caught by Truett. Pressure and straight ahead with Davis. You could see the collision as the ball is loose, and Alabama has recovered. George Teague with the recovery. The two defensive ends are the pinch anyway from the outside, and that ball just came flying loose. Copeland is the man who caused it. You can really see a lot of bodies flying. Palmer on the reverse. Gets a block from his quarterback, but Woodard trying to chase him down, and he will. Mark Woodard with an outstanding defensive play. Now is the fullback. This is Anderson. 40-yard line out to the 42. Ball is loose, and Mississippi State has recovered. Calvin Knight. Alabama 17, Mississippi State nothing. Well, looking long, Truett needs to turn around, and it's incomplete. In fact, I think he wanted Truett first, Mike, and then had to go to secondary receiver Willie Harris because Truett was open early. Well, I never like to see that up on a other team's ball before. Trip over his quarterback's feet. Barker made the handoff, and you could see Lassie just got tangled up with him and stopped short of the 10. Deal with the kick, and James will get a chance from the 48. Hit just shy of the 35 yard line. Option play. You see how quickly it closes down. He pitched at exactly the right moment, and as a result, it'll be just about a six yard gain. He, he should be with this team. From the wishbone, they run a counter. Roberts. And he'll be down to the 20 yard line. scrimmage and again it's Tommy Johnson a 37 yard field goal good pass plenty of distance and this time he's good the Giants travel to Mile High City to take on the Broncos 8 o'clock Eastern time Parker will be sacked at the 16-yard line, Alabama thinks he's going to be the next really good one there. Rolls has the pass and throws it complete. Prince Wembley at the 29. Third down, and they meet the 42. Sacked by Keevan Henry. As Keevan Henry never gave the opportunity to throw the football. Deal with the kick. Wobbly spiral. to the 44-yard line. 28 yards and a kick. That'll be a Donnie Brook between Ole Miss and Mississippi State this year. Straight ahead with the carry, and that's not going to be enough for the first down. They're going to say that the knee touched short of the 35-yard line. is the man who stepped it. You can see the defense in the huddle on the far side discussing what the next plan is going to be. Sherman Wade turns the corner and look out. He will have the first down. And look for Alabama to call a quick timeout here as they have two left. I think you try to throw it downfield, deep downfield. Looking for him over the middle. Going to go up on top, though. Four-yard line by Lee. First and goal, Alabama. Seven seconds until halftime. So Parker comes on to attempt the field goal. This one of 22 yards. And he knocks it home. We are at halftime. And as they head to the locker room, the Alabama Crimson Tide taking advantage of a 46-yard pass completion. It is Alabama 20. Mississippi State 3. The Delta Fawcett report is next. Right now, this timeout. Quick pass. 
intercepted by Mississippi State. That's Charlie Davidson, and he is inside the 10 yard line. Wants to throw it. Zings it. Tip. Threw it. Touchdown. Two shots at him, and he decided to go to Mississippi State on the second try. Going to throw back with the pass, and has it complete for the two point. Platinum. Throws it, under throws it. Mark Woodard on the sideline talking with the defensive staff and also some of his teammates. But in, into the game right now, he probably would be the most outstanding player. Rolls it, has a man wide open, throws it complete to Clanton, and he is inside the 30 to the 25-yard line. Play action. Incomplete, and now the officials run toward it. Was that a lateral? I don't bite? think there's any doubt it was a lateral. Okay, because it was recovered very wisely by Kenny Roberts. and that silences the crowd right there. Charlie Davidson makes the defensive play. Rolls the pocket, pumps it, wants to go on top, and he's got him wide open. Caught by Lee, and he drops the football. Oh, my goodness. I'm saved on that drop. Deals the punt, and this is his best of the night. Hanging spiral at the 21-yard line. to the 40, and now to the 44. Tony game. 41 yards on the punt, and 18 on the return. Let's take a timeout, and we'll see how large that turns out in this football game. Quick looking pass, intercepted. No, and now this one's dropped, I beg your pardon. Teague had it, took a step, and then dropped it. Good hit and second effort as Randy Brown got popped pretty good by Sam Shade out of the secondary and then picked up another yard. And third down, the pressure has it complete. Roberts with the first down and knocked out of bounds at the 33. Teague defensively. Mississippi State has to also be thinking here on third down. They were in field goal range. Over the middle, it is caught by the tight end clap. Enough for the Bulldog first down. Brown the ball here. Randy Brown takes it to just outside the 10. James Gregory with the stop. Late substitution number 90, John Walters, comes onto the field of play for Alabama. Davis to the one. Goes down in the corner and touchdown Randy Brown. Now let's check the marker, which was thrown by the referee behind the offense. Illegal participation, offense, previous spot, 15 yards. Looking, throws the pass, and it's well overthrown. Truitt is the man that he wanted. Chris Gardner is going to come from the 17-yard line, so it's a 27-yard attempt. Running a distance, and he's got it. Pitch goes to Palmer, and they run the reverse. This is Kevin Lee. Blocker in front, and look who's outside. Mark Woodard has been unbelievable tonight. But you still have to find a way to get the ball to number two. They roll the pocket pass is thrown. 
Yes, they say it's a catch at the 32 to lead. Could be the final play of this third quarter. Thanks to Anderson. Drills the pass and intercepted by Mississippi State's Charlie Davidson. Replacing him. Pressure from the backside, and he is going to be swamped at the 44. Eric Curry, the first man there. And let's go to Tim Brando. Mississippi State leading number two Alabama by one. Shovel pass, and it is dropped. That's, that's not a fumble. Everybody scrambles for it, but that's the safe thing about that uh, play. Under center and a play action. He wants to put it on top. Does and has it complete. At the 38-yard line, it's Curtis Brown on the receiving end of that one. And Alabama needs the ball at the 49-yard line. Jumps off a short pass. Here's Wembley. And Prince Wembley will take it for the first down at the 45-yard line of Mississippi State. Put an asterisk beside this play because Prince Wembley, number 32, was across the field. throw it. It's on the ground. Tipped and recovered by Mississippi State. Let's see if the play is dead or if it's a recovery. Long got on it. But they're going to say dead at the 46-yard line. There's the pressure. He never threw that football. That ball was stripped all the way by Daniel Boy, 41, and that was a fumble that they got away with. That was Daniel Boyd who hit him and knocked the football away. Third down, play action. Parker will be hit and knocked down back at the 44. That's Stephen Henry. Credit the Mississippi State defense. Deal with the punt. This is James. Backtracking. We'll take it from the 16. It's by one. The ball is loose. Picked up by Mississippi State. And he will take it. And now fumbled. He and Alabama has recovered at the 43. He fumbled. the 16-yard line. First and 10, Crimson Tide. Williams inside the 10, down to the 5-yard line. Looking for the fade route. Corner the end zone. Not close. Kevin Lee is who he wanted. Parker attempting from the 17. Ball is down, and he's glitching. We're glad you're with us. Ron Franklin, Mike Gottfried, and Adrian Carson. Wish you could be here in person. This is just, as Mike said, a good old-fashioned get-down-to-the-trenches-and-fight type of football game. James, no place to go, and here comes a late flag. Mike, if this is against Mississippi State, and they have to take it inside the 10-yard line, that is an extreme mistake on a, a fielding of the kick and then the penalty because this defense all of a sudden can turn this game totally around. Well, it looks like it is going to be against uh, Mississippi State, so it will be backed up. Pushing it back. Receiving team. Half a distance. First down. See what happens with Alabama on defense if they change anything in this series. State wants to throw. Pressure is there. Gets it off. And it's complete to Roberts. And he will step out of bounds just across the 15. And let's go back to Tim Brando. And here they come with the blitz. Pressure is on. Well, they're everywhere. And the pass is intercepted by Teague at the 19-yard line. Alabama on top. Again, to go with the running play. Anderson, just a little hole, squeezes it through, has the first, and it is first and goal at the six-yard line. Straight T. Anderson over the top. Touchdown, Crimson Tide. And third down, being hit. The ball is tipped, and that was Antonio London who got the ball or tipped it away. Watson Brown, what will the fourth down call be? Needs a couple. 
pressure. Pass is batted down at the line of scrimmage, and it's Albert Brown, who got a big hand up, replacing James Gregory, who knocked down the fourth down attempt. enough for the Alabama first down just inside the 30-yard line. Well, the longest winning streak that Alabama's ever had was 28, and Mississippi State broke that back in 1980. Had a chance to repeat history, but it's not going to be true tonight as Palmer takes the pitch and is down at the 21-yard line. Pass is caught by Truett, and he will be Pushed out of bounds out at the 34-yard line by Chris Donnelly. How quickly they can get rid of this one because Ole Miss is a very good football team who uh, secured a, a Liberty Bowl berth today. That ball is caught inside the 40. Pass is thrown complete. Willie Harris, and he will go out of bounds. makes the reception and it's twice tonight that Mississippi State has been benefactors of balls that have been tipped. Pressure from the outside. Pump, pump once. Now in the end zone ball is tipped and George Teague comes up with the interception and that will do it with 28 ticks left on the clock. We all know the news of Tennessee. He went 16 years. He took Tennessee to 12 bowl games. Last three years in January 1st bowls Last six years, he won three SEC champions. I don't understand it. So now, the Alabama Crimson Tide in the championship game, the first ever SEC championship game as a two-division race. And who would it be, the Florida Gators or would it be the Georgia Bulldogs? Final score, Alabama 30, Mississippi State 21. Stay tuned for the rest of in college football scoreboard. Now for Mike Gottfried and Adrian Carson, I'm Ron Franklin saying so long from Starkville, Mississippi. Now let's go to Chris Fowler in our scoreboard studio.